In our last video, we explored Hera Arena that was abandoned due to a family feud that lasted many years. But then later, it was almost completely destroyed by a tornado. But what we didn't show you, Harold Wampler's huge house built directly behind Hera Arena. And you'll never guess what we find inside. It's definitely a unique and one of a kind property. Let's get after it. As you can see, we're not the first and we won't be the last to visit this location. Somebody had quite the setup. As we head into the first bathroom, you get your first glimpse of what kind of design was used in this house. Lots of lots of extremely ugly wallpaper Here's the first of two staircases. The other one is much more beautiful and curved. We'll get there in a minute. Here we've got a huge great room with a fireplace. We discovered this property right after it was abandoned when it was still completely full of stuff, but it was locked up. But we could see this huge teddy bear sitting on the inside through one of the windows. Well, we found that teddy bear today and it's not in the same spot. So you'll have to wait to see where we found it. Tell me how to upsell this wallpaper in the comments. Look at the drapes. These drapes, bright red, beautiful, spectacularly bright. Here's the wallpaper. Looks like we have grass cloth, blue grass cloth on the bottom. It's got pretty woodwork, you know? It's. Lots of beautiful moldings. So I've got this big picture window. It's been boarded up over the years. And then you saw the great room on the other side. This is like a living room. You can see through the fireplace. So it's actually really nice. Got some rounded or curved staircase that goes up. Tall ceilings in this part of the house. It's really beautiful. Let's head to the back part of the house. I'll toss in some snippets from previous visits. Someone has recently gutted or pulled all the stuff out of this house. And we do have some snippets of, uh, you know, there used to be a creepy doll. I'll insert that creepy doll here. And then you see things like this tile where when they did the fireplace, they put this religious tile around I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm wrong, but I think those tiles are supposed to be like an accent piece where you have like a thousand white tiles and you have like, like a couple of those, not 40 of those in a row. Cause a lot of them are the same scene. So there's only like three different tiles and they just repeat all the way across. I don't know, I'm not feeling the vibe. But another big room, there used to be an exercise bike over here. Here's one of many amazing bathrooms. This curved gold shower. Straight 70s, straight 80s. I'm not sure which. I wasn't born. I was born in the 80s. I can't tell you which one it was. You tell me. And they even have gold 
light switch covers. Isn't that exciting? Okay, let's head upstairs. So this is a good time to remind you guys and gals to check out the Hera Arena video. There's one that just went live before this video, and there's also one that we made when Hera Arena was abandoned, but before the tornado hit it, and it was completely full of stuff. It's awesome. Check it out. Links are in the video description. And while you're there, go ahead and subscribe. While you're already clicking buttons, click that one. So you can see this house looks like someone might be actively living here. And I say that for two reasons. Lots of food, fairly fresh. Somebody bought some undies. I feel bad for anyone who lives in a situation like this. If you know a person who's in a situation like this, um, reach out. There's a, there's a ton of places online where you can reach out and social workers can help find them a place to stay. And uh, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description as well. But it's always sad to see people live in those situations, mostly from uh, substance abuse. Won't talk any more about that because my video will get demonetized. This bathroom, well, first, the wallpaper, again, amazing. But then this tub was made to look like a four post bed. I mean, one, who would even think of this? Two, who would put this much wood in a bathroom? And oof, just quick pan across that. Okay, that's all you get. You don't wanna see that, it's gross. And you can see before it was the pink wallpaper, they upgraded. This was blue heart wallpaper with this spectacular tub. And this fabric does look like the person who was or may still be living here is trying to stay clean and things like that. So that's always a positive. These floors are really beautiful. They have, I don't know what this is called. So somebody enlighten me. You guys are smart. Um, you can see they have the little holes to fill where the nails are. And it almost looks like a... It almost looks like a bowling alley floor, you know, where they have the little dowels that are cut off. Ooh, green. Oh, the green still has the drapes and things like that in it. And then it also has another example of spectacular wallpaper. A bathroom, another bathroom. I mean, so there's this wallpaper. I'm so glad that people don't do this anymore where they wrap their light switches. Just buy some light switch covers, some normal ones. So like this is like kind of matches, maybe. But then you get into the bathtub or the best shower and you've got these weird gold tiles. Like what? What is happening right here? I mean, I feel like I should be an interior designer at this place. I will say, while I don't agree with all of uh, the design choices, my guess is the people that lived here were a little over the top. But it's good to have friends that are a little over the top. The one room with no wallpaper, nothing too crazy. Okay, let's head back to the back room. There's a couple things I wanna show you. Here's the staircase. Bam, the first one we saw. Then we get into another bathroom. I've never been one to be so excited about showing people bathrooms, but uh, 
These are spectacular. First, look at the floor. So then we move on. Butterfly wallpaper in itself, not awful. Ceiling, um, looks like a million infinity symbols strung together in a blue pattern. But then we get the curveball, if that wasn't enough. These tiles from the other bathroom, they don't match anything in here. There's no gold in here. Why are you putting these tiles in here? So I don't get it. Then there's also someone that was living here was throwing their cigarette butts in the tub, which is awful in itself, but still, I appreciate them throwing it in the tub so they don't burn the house down. So, so then we're gonna stop here. And one of my favorite photos that I've ever taken, you can check it out on Instagram at oocupied. Um, I took in this hallway and I'll post it. So you're seeing it right now. And let's go. Okay, so then we enter what looks like, it must've been a game room or something. It's huge. It's huge. Now before the tornado, it had, it was full of chairs, which were pretty cool and other stuff, but they're not here right now. But what it does still have is the tree that the tornado threw through the ceiling and a spectacular choice of wallpaper. So these are chrome and black trees. The ceiling has chrome, black, gray, and tan clouds. And this wall has a chrome and white checker pattern. So now let's head down to the basement. That's where the real party room is. And then, I didn't forget, I'm gonna show you where we found the bear. He's had a hard, hard life. So if you wanna have a party room in your house, where do you put it? Well, first, I'm not gonna skip over. Before we, before we move on, look at this shag blue and red carpet. Go Flyers. Go Flyers. For you people that aren't dating folks, it's dating Flyers. So if you wanna have a party room, there's no better place to put it than the basement. Check out this round bar. There's a pole down here that they carpeted because drunk people would probably walk into it. Um, this black bar, I would love this. I don't love some of the design aspects of this house, but this bar is very interesting. You can only imagine the kind of parties the owner of Hera Arena would throw in a, in a basement like this. They also have this space right here where as you can see from the, as you can see from the artwork, there must have been a pool table here. Okay, there's one more bathroom. Let's see what we got. One more, red and white. Bam. Never disappointed by the wallpaper. So now it's story time, what you've all been waiting for. And we'll start with three years ago. We found the abandoned Hera house, but it was sealed up, but we looked in the window. Then we spotted it, a giant life-sized, super creepy bear leaning up against a cabinet. Flash forward a year, he's outside, decaying, still super creepy. Then our last visit, he did. This concludes our life story of uh, the giant bear. And I'm sure if he was alive, he would ask you to like the video, leave a comment. And of course, he would insist that you subscribe. So if you haven't done it already and you like these videos, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and uh, as always, be safe out there. Perfect.